The Young and the Restless Spoilers Recap Friday, March 31 Phyllis Ambulance Accident Chance Finds Masked Evidence Welcome to USA 24, My Channel Fantasy The Young and the Restless, YNR Spoilers reveal that Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, will finally appear at the gala to investigate what happened to Phyllis Summers on Friday, March 31. Michelle Stafford Chance will mention that he was on a stakeout after receiving a hot tip on a car theft, but the tip was a bust, almost as if someone didn't want him to be there tonight. Chance will receive updates from Jeremy Stark, James Hyde, on Diane Jenkins, Susan Walters, altercation with Phyllis, which Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, Summer Newman Abbott, Allison Lanier, and Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, witnessed. After Jeremy mentions Phyllis telling him about the fight, we'll notice Diane saying she should strangle Phyllis to death for the sake of the world. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Diane will explain how Phyllis enticed her upstairs by lying about Kyle's illness. Diane will act as if she was provoked and that the threat was made in the heat of the moment. Chance will wonder if Phyllis was injured or hit her head during the altercation, but Diane will insist she wasn't. Jack will speak up about Jeremy's unexpected marriage to Phyllis, acting as if he is the one who needs to provide some answers. Chance will admit that Jeremy is free to go for the time being, but he will strongly advise him not to leave town. Summer and Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Graziati, will rush in with shocking news because Phyllis' ambulance did not arrive at the hospital. When Summer and Daniel went out to the parking lot, it was gone, so they drove to Memorial. Unfortunately, Phyllis was never admitted, and the dispatcher was unable to contact the ambulance driver. Summer will point out that Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, stayed at the hospital just in case, but she didn't feel right just hanging around, and Daniel didn't feel right either. When Daniel and Summer press Chance to assist, he will conduct some research. Jack will return to Jeremy and demand to know what the hell is going on. Jeremy will check his watch and appear preoccupied with his phone throughout the night. Lena Love, Barbara Crampton, will be excited because she believes she has discovered a huge story. Soon after, Chance will approach Sharon Rosales, Sharon Case, and ask if he truly suspects foul play. Chance will say maybe, because Jack and Diane have a history of taking matters into their own hands, particularly with Stark. Before Sharon notices Phyllis' mask on the floor, Chance will add that the animosity is dangerous. If Chance believes it is evidence, he will wrap it in a cloth napkin. When Jack returns, he will tell Diane that he is concerned that Jeremy may have done something to harm Phyllis. Despite his disagreements with his ex, Jack didn't want anything bad had happened to her. Diane will assure Jack that she was simply pushed to her breaking point during the earlier fight and didn't want anything bad to happen to Phyllis. When Diane questions whether Jack believes her, he will insist and pull her into a warm embrace. Daniel will be concerned about how long this will take because Phyllis requires medical attention. When Chance receives a call, he will reveal that there was an accident on Collins Road involving only one car, an ambulance. Chance will admit that's all the information they have but he believes they should brace themselves for the worst. While Summer and Daniel are concerned, Jeremy will be smiling nearby. In other news, Amanda Sinclair, Michelle Morgan, will be concerned about Phyllis' condition and warn Lily Winters, Crystal Kalul, to be wary of Devin Hamilton, Brighton James. Lily, on the other hand, will feel as if she has a new reason to be optimistic. Alina Dawson, Brittany Sarpy, and Nick Hastings, seen Dominic, We'll meet at the bar to discuss some possible medical reasons for Phyllis' collapse. Audra Charles, Zalika Silver, will tell Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinel, across the room that she thinks she can finally see the spark between Nate and Elena. Victoria will appear irritated, but Audra will hint that she will have a project to present to her soon. Then when Victoria mentions Nate's gift for medicine, Elena points out that she always thought it was his true calling. Elena will suggest she has some ideas on how to team up with Nate again after Victoria says a person can have many callings. Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson, will turn down Tucker McCall's Trevor Street Johnson marriage proposal at the Abbott house, so he'll suggest making it a fun ploy instead. Tucker will point out that they are not required to make a formal commitment, but they can still publicly announce their engagement. Ashley will like the idea of overshadowing Jack and Diane, so she will agree to think about it. Meanwhile, Ashley will press Tucker to make the McCall Unlimited deal with Devin a reality. Tucker will discuss something more serious than their game, but he will believe Ashley is too afraid to admit it. Ashley will act as if her advantage over Tucker is the most important thing, 
but she will share some passionate kisses with him before sending him off. Tucker will approach Audra at the bar at society and act as if they are both outsiders. Audra will think she's doing well, because she's been accepted by the movers and shakers of GC, but he'll call that nonsense. Audra will hint about having a plan in the works after she and Tucker take jabs about each other's love lives. On Friday's Ionor episode, Devin will fill Abby Newman Abbott, Melissa Ordway, in on Phyllis Collapse following Jack and Diane's engagement announcement. Devin will also reflect on his mostly cordial conversation with Amanda and his realization that family comes first. Abby will promise to stand by Devin no matter what happens with Chancellor Winters and McCall Unlimited. Devin will be glad to have Abby in his life and will approach her to kiss her. Devin may face a few more curveballs in the future, according to the young and the restless spoilers, so stick with Y and R.